James one is James the wine guy. I'm really delighted to have this wine today. It's a Pinot Blanc coming from the North Fork in Long Island in New York. Stay tuned. So I have been to uh, North Fork uh, at least three occasions and I think it's absolutely splendidly beautiful, especially if it's summertime and you're in New York City and it's super hot. It's beautiful to go to the North Fork because it's really cool. You get those Atlantic breezes coming through liberally, but the uh, cool breezes from the Atlantic really do wonders for this wine growing region that in my opinion is underappreciated. It is, uh, I think, some fantastic wines. There's Merlot, there's Cabernet Franc, there's Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, of course, Pinot Blanc there. I think it's a really wonderful place to visit and I like it because it is, it's New York. It is its own place. It's not like going to Finger Lakes and uh, to me it's really near and dear because I have been there three times and I really want to go back for a fourth visit. I have been to Leap Cellars before so I was really excited to get this bottle and to celebrate and enjoy all the other wines that they do make as well. I, I get excited when I see Pinot Blanc. I think Pinot Blanc is one variety and then some people say it's not really a variety, it's just a mutation of Pinot Noir. But ultimately, it, I consider it a variety and a lot of other people do too. But I think it really does quite well here and I like to see more of it. The, uh, the bulk of the Pinot Blanc in the entire planet is in the Alsace in France, but uh, I definitely like to see it in other places as well. This wine is really a success on many levels because of its scent and flavor characterization, low alcohol point, and spending no time in oak I think really does a lot for this wine. What we have is Leap Cellars 2015 Reserve Pinot Blanc and from the North Fork of Long Island, New York. Uh, on this it's 11.9% ABV, 0% oak, 0% residual sugar, hand harvested, so you drive east from this location and you'll be in the Hamptons or at least uh, the, the southern portion of the Hamptons. And I think this is a really special region and I, I love the, that it exists and that it's doing what it's doing in producers like Lee that have been committed to producing wines from this region for some time. And I think it's um, really an excellent, beautiful wine. So on this wine, uh, characterization is, uh, so I like the very different characterization. When I smell this, I'm definitely smelling Pinot Blanc, and I love that characterization. I think what I get from Pinot Blanc often, not always, is a scent of um, passion fruit, which is coming uh, from this wine as well. Passion fruit, white stone fruit, flowers, tea, and a bit of beeswax as well. Next, the flavor characterization. You know what I want with this wine? Oysters. Oysters would be perfect for this wine. It is really sublime. I would also say with this, I would do a lot of seafood dishes, chicken dishes, um, linguine, um, and clams would be fantastic with this wine. Notes of white nectarine, bit of minerality on this, which is really nice to pair with seafood, and a hint of apricot, tea, flowers, and Meyer lemon. More leaf sellers to come. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. More wines from New York and around the world. So thank you and uh, stay tuned for more. And if you like this video, give a like. It's right down below. Questions and comments can be listed there as well. More information on the producer and this wine will be listed there as well. And the subscribe button's right up here. So please hit that button. Thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for more something.